I understand the situation. I swear by my honor, Wolf Crone will aid you in your time of need. Well, in the name of Lord Eckhart and the people of Rauschberg, I offer you our sincerest thanks. This noble act will no doubt see the reputation of both Wolf Crone and its king shine ever brighter throughout the land. Let us dispense with this stifling formality. How could I refuse the man who fought by my side in so many battles, and who is the teacher of my beloved daughter? Moreover, I hear that Lord Eckert is on friendly terms with the Margrave of Baden. The mutual friendship we build today will serve us well in future dealings with the Holy Roman Empire. And when that day comes, the captain of the Rauschberg Knights will be at your side to offer my voice in your support. Gerebrand, once again, I will lead our forces in battle. You must stay behind and mind the castle in my absence. Wilhelm, you shall fulfill your duty as a soldier of the Krone family in the battle to come. As you command, my lord. As you command. <sighs> but my lord, next month is the memorial service. If the war is prolonged, the princess will have to attend it alone. I'll be fine, old man. Father's victory, honor, and safe return will be the greatest comfort he can offer the departed. I'm sure it is what both mother and the prince would have wanted. Do not worry. Assuming our foe's general is familiar with the proceedings of war, peace will return within the month. I will lead the Silver Wolves into battle and end this affair quickly. It's been a month since Father and Wilhelm left for Rauschberg, and yet all I can do is sit here and pray for their safety. Hmm? The night sky is... bright? A pillar of light? What could it be? It's beautiful, and yet... never have I felt such an ill omen. Great Wolf, ancestor of our people, please protect Father and the others. The Pillar of Light Hildegard von Krone witnessed that night pierced the heavens. It would later become known as the Evil Seed, an event that altered the destiny of the Wolf Krone Kingdom forever. Malevolent beams of light rained down across the world, spreading misfortune and despair. One even found its way to the border of Wolf Krone. The light landed on the very spot that King George and his army were passing through on their way home from war. <clears throat> what should I do? Why? Why would you do this to us, my lord? <laughs> cannot stand against him! No. It's that the Silver Wolves refuse to turn their blades upon him. What loyal member of the King's retinue would dare try to slay him with their own hand? Lord Wilhelm, quickly, you must return to tell the castle. We will buy you time. Above you! Watch out! No! Oh, 
outsiders must die. Grow, keep your head. Don't kill him. Who are you people? Are you all right? My name's Curtis. I'm a friend. And that grumpy fellow over there is... This is no time for small talk. Think of how to stop this guy. First he leaps in to save someone without a thought, then makes me clean up his mess. Well, if Gro can't stop him... <sighs> you, look me in the eye. Huh. You're surprisingly calm considering the circumstances. This blade is coated in an unguent that will put malfested, uh, berserkers to sleep. We'll keep him distracted, you stab him with it. Got it? Me- Curtis! Sorry I took so long. I've got your back. Can I really do this? To someone who is like a father to me? Huh? <sighs>